Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski and here are our top stories. A Kelowna mother who may have been drunk driving is being blamed for a major traffic accident on WR Brennett Bridge Tuesday. The woman who refused a breath sample is also alleged to have tried to flee the scene, leaving behind her two children and a dog. She was issued a 90-day immediate roadside prohibition and the truck was towed after it smashed into the median on the bridge. A large fire sparked at a lumber yard on Highway 97 in the Spallamsheen area Tuesday. The blaze broke out just before 1 p.m. but quickly grew due to winds in the area. A witness at the scene said the fire reached a sawdust pile and there were concerns it would jump to the nearby forested area. Fire crews got the blaze at the Meriden lumber sales under control in a short time. A local business owner is warning neighbours in an industrial area of Kelowna to watch out for thieves after a dump truck was stolen from his property. Scott Wilde sent Castanet this video of thieves pulling up to his business and taking a laying roofing truck from Appaloosa Road early Monday morning. He says police told him several other businesses in the area have also been targeted and two Ford trucks had been taken. The laying roofing truck was spotted crossing the WR Bennett Bridge about an hour after the theft. If you have any information regarding this incident, you're asked to call the Kelowna RCMP. It's the first long weekend of the year and for many the first opportunity to take the boat out on the water. This Saturday marks the kickoff to National Safe Boating Week, a reminder to plan ahead and wear a life jacket when heading out onto our lakes and rivers. If you're missing uh, one life jacket, the fine is $230 and you're ordered to shorter to get the proper number of life jackets. If you're missing more than one, the fine increases by $115 for every missing life jacket. So if you're missing half a dozen life jackets, your fine is up over $700. Last year, 70 people drowned accidentally in British Columbia, according to the BC Coroner's Service. The Castanet Vernon crew took to the streets of their city this week to find out if residents there thought there should be stiffer fines for people who toss lit cigarettes out of car windows. With wildfires raging in BC and Alberta, social media has taken to shaming those who flick butts. Let's find out what the locals had to say. Yes, there should be. <laughs> um, I don't think that it's good for the environment. I don't think it's good for um, the fires. And her dad's? And my dad's a firefighter, so I'm really strict on like the fire bans and everything. So it's not good for anybody. I definitely think there should be definitely something done. There should be some serious fines. I don't know what you're gonna do. Like take vehicles away. I'm not sure what to do, but it's obviously costing us a lot. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It costs us tax dollars to fight the forest fires and fires that it does start. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching.